Hello and welcome to Informatica support videos. Today we shall see a video on how to create an open PGP key and SSH key in Informatica MFT. Uh, I shall be also showing one more step like how to get an expiring PGP keys or expiring SSH key reports along uh, on the steps on how we can create a new key for SSH and open PGP key. Let's go to the directly demo where I can show you the process and how you can do this. So, and the, before I go to the demo, I would like to give a small information on OpenPGP key encryption where uh, in MF, Informatica MFT, OpenPGP compliant encryption technology uh, to address the privacy and integrity data is being integrated. So uh, in OpenPGP, uh, ideally, uh, we'll also address the issues of data authentication and uh, non-repudiation with the ability to sign files uh, via embedded digital signatures. Uh, open encryption, open PGP encryption and decryption process in MFT uh, is also tested uh, for the compatibility with many other PGP products which includes uh, PGP desktop from PGP, uh, PGP corporation, e-business server over, over McCafe and uh, new P PG. Login to Informatica uh, Manage File Transfer that is MFT as an administrator user. Click on Encryption, Open PGP Key Manager. So you can see the public key ring is by default we have an uh, uh, is been associated and the secret key ring is been also associated. New key. provide the email ID. Pass phrase is the password ideally which you have to keep uh, have a note of it because uh, this has to be used for decryption of the files. Uh, in case you lose it then uh, we will be not able to restore the decrypt the files. So you provide uh, as per your requirement. Key types uh, will be RSA and uh, Delphi Hellman DSS. By default, it is Delphi Hellman. Uh, Hellman. If you want to use RSA uh, key type, you can provide this. What is the size? Uh, I'll be having it as 2048. And if you want to provide any expiration date, I, you can provide the same. Save. So this is the new key which I uh, is being generated. Uh, so after encrypting the files uh, with uh, OpenPGP in MFT, uh, MFT can place the resulting files in in the local system, local file system, and send them to another server like FTP server, or send them to one or more email recipients pay, uh, as per the requirement. Uh, also, uh, the ma MFTP. MFT also allow you to create the projects to retrieve the encrypted files or decrypt or verify the files and import the data from the decrypted files into the database. Uh, in addition to uh, overall information being provided, uh, uh, MFT includes the integrated of the open key manager where we just added the open key. In this open key, Open PGP key manager, which is uh, used to manage all the open keys. So here you can create the keys, change the keys, export the keys, or import the keys as well. Import, or if you want to open a key ring, you, if you want to provide the public key ring, you can choose it over here. and secret keyring so 
by default as i've already imported you 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 already saw that the public key ring and the secret key ring is being provided so this is how how you can add an open pgp key now we shall see the steps involved and how you can add an uh, such uh, uh, keys in in, uh, in mft so similarly go to the encryption you have a uh, sh key manager once the ss key manager is open you can see put uh, add click on new key provide the name the key type uh you want a dsa algorithm or rsa algorithm to be used uh generally we recommend uh, key type as rsa the key size i'll go for uh, 2048 passphrase is again the password uh, which uh, that protects the private key uh, portion of the sh key key pair and this has to be recorded safely so confirm the uh, password again if you want to provide any comment you can provide the public key file format uh, there are two type of format one is open ssh and secure shell so uh, ideally this format uh, in which to store the public key this is the format which will store the public key so the uh, it is generally recommended to use uh, open ssh uh, unless you're trading the partners uh, de uh, partner uh, dedicates de 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 uh, otherwise uh, you can use open ssh click on save so you'll have one private one public key now you can also import the public key and as well as private key based on the requirement external keys uh, will open your uh, public key or uh, private key so if i want to open the public key choose the public key keys ssh as i'm using rsa algorithm of uh, size 2048 select this select so you can download the sequential format or download the open ssh format based on your requirement so this is how you will be adding the ssh key uh, ssh encryption key and now we shall see how you can get the uh, reports uh, of the expiring uh, pgp keys or expiring ssl certificates for that go to the log segment click on the reports in the reports you can see expiring pgp keys and expiring ssl certificates so ex expiring pgp keys which for orientation you want it that is landscape it's a pdf file so you need to select which uh, orientation you want portrait or landscape and what is the date range you want it for today tomorrow or the next 30 days so let me click on today if at all it is a, anything expiring today or anything expiring within next 30 days so if you, this will be the output of the file as of now i don't have any keys which is getting expired within the next 30 days so the the report shows blank we would love to hear from you so please provide your feedback in support videos at informatica.com twitter and twitter.com in for support and also you can upload your comment in youtube.com user in for support thank you